The pathway to achieve is that program that we started with the tablets inside the jail. You know, you all tasked us a year and a half ago with the amount of money that we were spending with housing inmates trying to figure out a way to, you know, to, to lessen the population in the jail, which as a sheriff, I mean, you just, if a judge puts them in jail, you put them in jail, you know, and we release them whenever they're supposed to be released. There were a lot of different ideas that were, that were around and a lot of things that we tried, and I'm pretty sure that the judge had talked to the boss man back here, and uh, there's another idea I think it's floating around too that he just caught up with me on Main Street today and discussed. So I think you'll discuss that one later, Mr. Walter, Walters Wheel. So um, the tablets were, it's like a five year project. Uh, police officers don't like a lot of change. Technology has really came about, and guys in the jail were really, jail staff is really concerned about possibility of you know having internet in the jail even though it's a closed internet with communication and things like that but more and more we you know I was able to educate them on some of the things and some of the travels in the you know with the Sheriff's Association and the national seeing this product work and other facilities we were able to get tablets inside the jail to be able to do video visitation where we no longer have citizens that have to come into the lobby especially, you know, with the last COVID issue that we dealt with for two years, you know, bringing whatever into our lobby and employees and moving inmates around and, and things like that. So now we're able to, to people to visit from their home, uh, you know, phones, iPads, things of that nature. And with that came tablets. With those tablets, which we were able to get 100 tablets and all this work done at zero taxpayer dollars. Uh, the only thing we did was we took a smaller amount of, uh, you know, what we get for the service that, you know, they provide the inmates and uh, commission. We get a little smaller commission, but all that equipment was free. We were given 100 tablets. I was there the day that the tablets launched on October 3rd is when the tablets were launched. So I'm going to give you a report from October 3rd through December the 31st. Uh, this right here is the, the amount of classes that were taken from that time period in those three months. If you look at your little report that I gave you, you'll see that basically just a, 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 quick, a quick snapshot was that we had 153 active learners, the total hours of 4,046 hours, 52 minutes and 20 seconds for total credits of 339,119 courses completed, 41,188. Average number of courses completed per learner is 269.2. The average time spent per learner is 26 hours, 27 minutes, and zero seconds. The average number of credits earned per learner is 2,216 and 46. Well, these tablets weren't just for them to play with. These tablets were educational courses that are all in this report right here that I'll be glad to share with any of you all. But I'll go through some of the classes that were taken during that time. So we had enrolled of 51,702 courses, completed 41,188, so 80% of them have been completed. There's 7,470 that a day have picked, but they haven't got started on. And then there's 3,044 that are in process. And when you ask me what some, you know, it sounds like a lot of different numbers, but basically I'll talk about some of the classes, it's like anger management and cognitive behavioral therapy. We had, you know, 27 hours, 825, 30, you know, classes. We have anger triggers, anger management for substance abuse and mental health clients. And a lot of these guys, you know, they have, that are in jail, they have anger management issues, they have anger issues. Uh, and then we'll go on to, there's anger triggers, basic kitchen and food service, basic shop safety, uh, basic stair, beginning in English, the courses that were taken. Um, being an involved father, a lot of these guys, you know, they're incarcerated, they're away from their kids and they're not involved with their kids, so they're, they're getting educated on how to be a better father and be, in, be involved with their, their family. Um, five questions every 24-7 dad ask. 
you know, if they're not there being around them, they don't know how to be a father. They don't know questions to ask their kids or talk to their kids about it. Uh, celebrate recovery. There's a lot of different classes, a lot of classes we're taking on celebrating recovery, NA, AA, uh, college intermediate English skills, uh, diesel technology, equipment maintenance, uh, domestic violence, trying to educate, you know, get educated on domestic violence. Um, celebrate recovery again. We got mental health, mental health issues, how to under, you know, understand mental health issues, uh, medically assisted treatment, uh, mental health ADHD, which a lot of them are, you know, they're hyper and it's what gets them into some of the trouble that they get involved in. Uh, major depressive orders and things like that. We have Microsoft Excel. We have several that have completed the GED courses. And there's a lot of other courses I could go on and on and on about the number of courses. Uh, a lot of them are in here. If you guys want to look at We All Can Read, um, just I can't go through them all in this short period of time, and but I can make these available to you if any of you all would like to sit down there and look at them. But when they when they take these courses, they get credits. Those credits that they get for those tablets, based on the number of hours of time that they spend on the courses, they get credits to either A, watch movies, B, play a game, things of that nature. They also have uh, religious courses that are there, sermons from different denominations that they can, you know, they get their, their sermon right from their tablet. So basically, um, they're getting, trying to give them hope, to give them skills and other training that when they get out of, there's electrical wiring, there's plumbing, there's all different kinds of other trade things that, you know, they can take these courses and brush up on and maybe be able to do something whenever they get out. So basically giving them some hope that basically when they get out that maybe they can have some training. The, the long story short is when these inmates get out of jail, they're going to be our citizens. They're going to be our neighbors. They're going to be some of them's going to be our family. They're going to be, you know, they're going to live in this county, this city, this town, and you know, because they're not going to be able to go anywhere. So you know, we're thinking that we're going to be a, actually providing them some hope that they can maybe overcome some of their struggles and issues to be able to not go back to jail, which keeps our jail population down, which keeps taxpayer dollar. You know, in check instead of spending seven hundred fifty thousand dollars like we did, you know, last year uh, to house inmates because of our jail's not big enough at fifty six when we had one hundred fifty some people. So uh, I think it's a win situation for everyone involved. Like I say, it was a no taxpayer dollars, and um, it's really uh, quieting the the environment in the jail down because everybody's on a tablet. You know, they can make phone calls. They order their commissary on the tablet. So, you know, they're not sitting around with free idle time to scheme on, you know, what they're going to do next or or how they're going to cause problems inside the jail or or whatever. So uh, we've been, the staff is, which I knew they would after we had gotten it going by talking to a lot of my colleagues all over the country, but the staff has really, it's really reduced a lot of wear and tear and, and issues with the staff and, and behavioral issues. If any of you all have any questions, I'll be glad to try to answer them for you. And how I mean, many other jurisdictions are doing this? Uh, uh, Rockbridge went online just a short leave right before we did. Um, there's a lot across the you know the country. A lot of run, some of the Roanoke's have the tablets, and um, it, it's really pop. They're really popular. Um, like you say, the idle time sitting there. All you're doing playing cards, maybe watching whatever TV or scheming. So, you know, this gives you the opportunity to to get your GED, um, to learn some, some driving techniques. I was actually really impressed with uh, a national sheriff's conference with the sheriff out of Charlotte, North Carolina, which if there was a way I could figure out how to do this, I would love to do it. He actually had a... Uh, a Class A simulator. CDL and the guys could with virtual reality there's a lot of virtual reality courses and the guys could actually do a lot of that stuff on virtual reality they can learn these things and he was given a, a 
uh, somewhere around $75,000 grant to buy this machine that these guys can practice all and, and you know do their get their work towards their CDL while they're incarcerated. Dennis Lancaster has a CDL class. Is yeah. there anything you could do with the college? Yeah, we're, maybe we're, they would I'm, I'm, I've been wanting to talk to them about whether we can do something like that and then also with uh, even the West Baker or the extruder about uh, a good friend over in Roanoke or Roanoke City he started a you know um, tow motor class that you know they train them and, and they get you know certified in being able to operate a tow motor I mean we have a lot of places around here that you know that hold paper that need that kind of labor or so if there's some way we're trying to figure out a way where we could maybe work that out with them to give people some job skills once they uh, get out of jail. I could see where you could do a joint thing with Dead and his Lancaster yeah. and they could do a whole lot of it while they're still in your jail, but once they come out they could finish up their CDL class with Debney. Yeah, we, they would be able to probably do everything but the 40 hours that you have to drive, That's the driving part. I'd, I'd call Dr. Yeah. I bet, he would, I bet he'd help <coughs> we're, we're, We were not trying to get too overly involved until after we got it going, you know, the first three months and see how things were going. That's why we only gave you the short, brief part of it on October the 3rd. But, you know, we appreciate your guys supporting this. And the jail staff, like I said, it's, it's really lessened a lot of their responsibility, lessened a lot of problems that they would have with inmates because, of, like I said, the inmates just, did, just had all kinds of free time to, to do nothing and, and, you know, irritate each other. This is a good carrot to dangled for what well, not only it keeps you know out of hands yeah or the worst thing you can have it keeps them occupied and challenged and right. involved yeah i like that a lot i think that's a fantastic program and uh, kevin are you familiar with what fairfax is doing Virginia? <clears throat> i know they have a lot of different programs i know they have a lot of drug uh, re-entry drug programs that are really fortunate and things, but I really I know her real well. Uh, well, the was at the Baco meeting and uh, uh, the chair had uh, he's setting up invites for people to come out and make a tour, and uh, he was getting all kind of praises. And uh, you talking about Fairfax County because that's Fairfax a County. Well, that's a female sheriff, Stacy Kincaid. Her husband's actually. From Allegheny County, is actually a captain with state police, and then uh, I know there's another program that we uh, that model a lot of our, you know, we started with the medically assisted treatment, just like out in uh, Chesterfield County. He's got a really good program yeah, going they're there. They're working with the colleges and simulators and stuff. Uh, I, I get with you, and we can see if we yeah. can get a group to go up and look at it. Yeah, now that we can do the, you know, the, a lot of the coursework inside the facility. It's, that was our next step. We've been thinking about it for a month or so now about moving forward with, you know, a lot of the, the virtual reality things and different, you know, there's welding courses that these guys can take in here. And I know a lot of these things are hands-on that you have to do, perform certain things with your hands-on, but there's a lot of, of the book work that needs to go along with a lot of these programs. And, you know, it's pretty exciting. And then also the company, you know, they threw some, dangled some carrots out there also is, if none of our tablets are damaged, then they give them, like if we go a week and none of them are damaged in any way because they replace them, then they'll give them uh, free credits. They'll give them maybe two phone calls, you know, free and things like that. So, you know, we're still we're still making money on that, you know, with the, the commissary, the, the phone system that they use. But, you know, we might be getting a little less percentage, but we're still making money, but we're getting a lot of more bang and resources for our money with the with the tablets is this it's paytail or one of those people it's paytail paytail yes sir that's great news i think that's fantastic yeah, and i've always said the best thing any of us could do on this board or community leaders or anything is to move the bottom up if you want to improve the quality of your community you move the bottom up don't worry about the smart ones at the top. They're going to take care of themselves. Some may even have to leave the area, but they're going to do okay. Well, we always measure our society, our state, our country by the ones you read about in the newspaper at the bottom that commit crimes. Move the bottom up and you've done something. It looks to me like you've got an opportunity to really <coughs> move the bottom up. You know, our, our population is 
down, you know, from where we were, I think, today, we were actually around 70. We were at 70 today, so, I mean, it extremely went down, but a lot of that's uh, the, the new laws that were enacted, the amount of, you know, good time credit and things you get for where people were getting out early. You know, we still have our crimes, but I believe that with this, we, we will make a lot of difference in a lot of people because we're going to give some people hope that they didn't have hope and, and be up giving them. I mean, we're giving them an opportunity. That's all we can do. I mean, like you said, you can take a horse to water. You can't make them drink, but if you don't ever take them to the water, they're not going to drink. No pun intended, but you have a captive audience right there. So uh... yeah, well, the day that, that we launched them, I, I wish some of you all could have seen it. It really, it really did amaze me. About I was in the pod, each pod, when they gave them their tablet and, and everything, and then they all started. It was pretty amazing. I mean, they were attentive to the guy that was going over, instructing them on how to use it, and everything. It was just a, it was a, just like being in a classroom. You know, in a, in a school somewhere, in a college or, or high school, you know, they were real receptive. Everybody was, you know, paying attention and everything. It was something that, that they really, you know, they really take pride in. They really enjoy because they know that if, if they mess it up, then, you know, they get taken from them. You know, and that's one of the punishments, you know, that if you get in trouble or you break it or something, it's going to get taken from you. Move the bottom up. But if any of you all would like to see, you know, like a list of the courses, the hours, it breaks down into the hours and whatever the individual courses. Uh, it's pretty lengthy right here. But if you I'd all like to see it, yeah, if, if you all want to, maybe we can figure out a. If you want a monthly, you know, it would be you know a little smaller than this. And um, you know, I'm just curious to see what's offered yeah. and how they do it, and because it really is bringing the the incarceration system into the 21st century instead of just having TVs and watch cops all day. Yeah. You can plan cards. Yeah. Play you know, sit there and wait so you can clean the shower. This is <laughs> something that's beneficial. Yes, sir. I would be glad to pass this on to you. Is there any way some of these our board members could come and look at Could come to what? Could we tour? Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Any, anytime you'd like to tour or, uh, just let us know, we'd be glad. Uh, a couple of you have, okay. uh, I know we took. Works, yeah. yeah, I know we took Mr. Griff here a few months back. Yeah. Yeah, he went along with uh, Crystal and maybe the mayor. Yeah, we'll be glad to let you come tour. And I like to see that in the new machine too, though. The new scanner. New scanner, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really uh, you know the CARES Act was really big help there, and like I say, all this equipment, the tablets, the you know the inter the Wi-Fi inside, that was all you know they bared all the expense. So, I mean, we're getting, you know, we're, we're getting a freebie here from whatever that's benefiting, you know, everyone. Still, jails, we got to sell the jail's not the place to be, but yeah. it's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the you, sir. The thing I got from education in college was I realized just how stupid I was. When you have the access to that much knowledge, you realize you're just scratching the surface. surface of a million things out there. And if nothing else, what you can do with this program is teach them good. They don't know it all. You'll teach them just how much knowledge is out there. If you want to go get it. Make the most of your Well, uh, you know, I appreciate you guys. You guys, you know, it took us going through what we went through with, you know, the expense of all that to, to really get us motivated and really get us moving and, and uh, like I say, it's, it's been way above what we ever even imagined. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I think you were just the highlight of the whole meeting, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> <Thank> <laughs>